Friday the 14th of May so I'm just popping on to give you a weigh-in update and as usual with these I'm going to start off by sort of just quickly going through the week how I've got on in terms of like my calories if I've been way over way under how I felt and then reveal whether I've lost gained or maintained and then at the end I'm just going to quickly reflect on the new week and going forward so this week the only day I didn't track was Tuesday which not too not too pleased about however it's better having the majority trapped than than not um so i'm getting better at it but obviously i didn't track on tuesday so i could could have done better there and um, one thing that i'm really pleased with myself for is that i tracked over the weekend and i was over calorie on saturday and sunday uh but i tracked it and i was accountable for it and i think it helped keep me just in check a little bit so as I didn't track on Tuesday, my net calories under and my net average are obviously void because it's saying that my net calories under are 1,619 and I had a net average of 1,242. However, I did eat on Tuesday, I just didn't put it in. Um, and I've kind of ga gauged like an estimate of what my calories would have been on that day. And I'm thinking somewhere between 1,400 and 1,500. So that's that and then if i was to show you all the other days there we go you can see that on saturday and sunday i was over on wednesday i was over tuesday i will have been over sorry monday i was over tuesday i would have been over wednesday i was under and yesterday i was over so the majority of the days have been over by um a good couple hundred calories the most being 1,602. Um, however, I'm not I'm not too I'm not too fussed about it just because I know that this week one thing I have tried to do is be mindful of what I am eating, uh, questioning my hunger. Am I eating out of boredom? So I feel like when I've eaten, and if it has been over, it has been because I've been genuinely hungry. And as I always say in every video, when I mention hunger, it should always be appreciated and never ignored. So I'm not too bothered about that. One thing that I really would like to change is I have still been eating quite a lot of chocolate um, on an evening. So I want to try and get that in check a little bit. I feel like this week I could have maybe replaced that for some healthier alternatives here and there that I am becoming a chocolate monster. Um, so there we go, that's like my week. I've, I've never, I've not really been in a like a binging mood or like an overeating mood. On um, When I went camping, I feel like I was so successful with that because I'm one of these people that try and look for the opportunities for extra food or if there's, like if you've got a long car journey, I'm always like, ooh service snacks and things like that and I was trying we're really mindful of that when I went camping this time and thought if it's there I'm gonna want to eat it and I need to try and maintain a balance while I'm camping I can't just like go because I'm hiking tomorrow I can eat an abundance of stuff because it doesn't work like that so um I did really 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 well when I was camping and hiking um i'm very pleased with that a little clap for myself so moving on to my weigh-in where are we and i had no idea how weigh-in today was going to go by the way um i just was really unsure about whether i was going to lose gain or maintain i had no like feeling sometimes you get a feeling like sometimes i think oh i've definitely lost this week and sometimes i think i've definitely gained this week this week was just one of them i don't know i don't know we'll see how it goes however this today not this week <laughs> i weighed in this morning at 14 stone for bang on the dot so it's a loss of two pounds and I'm so happy with that. I was, 
Like I said, I had no expectation on what, what my weigh-in result was going to be. However, I do feel like I've tried this week and I do feel like I deserved a loss. Um, and I was granted with one. So I'm now back at 14 stone 4, which was my weigh-in from three weeks ago, I think. Because I put on like a quarter of a pound a couple of weeks, I don't know. I'm pretty certain I weighed in at 14 stone for uh, a few weeks ago. And then I've obviously put on over the last two weeks. Um, so if I just quickly compare this weigh in today to last week's weigh in, which was the seventh and I weighed 14 stone six, we can see that this week I have lost two pounds in weight, 0.5% of body fat and three, knocked free off my BMI. There you go. Proof is in the pud. So if I just quickly go back to compare it to my start weight. So that brings me to an overall loss of one stone 11 pounds. 7.1% of my body fat, and I've knocked 4.7 off my BMI. And I'm happy about that. So yeah, I'm back to 14 stone four, which has been my lowest weight in this journey so far. And I'm really in the mood to smash this, guys. I'm really in the mood to smash this. I wanna see 13 on that scale. I wanna see the number 13 sick of 14 now. You've been here too long my friend. You are going. We are going to get rid of you. So this week I'm going to try super hard, especially over the weekend, to do the best I can. I'm just going to really, really dig, dig deep this week. Um, I want to do more. I want to move more. I'm so fed up of myself now. I really need to get my butt in gear and do some movement. I've been researching gyms because I really want to rejoin the gym. Um, my gym that I did attend a moon or so ago has shut over lockdown and it is no more, no longer there. So I've been having a look at sort of my options and I'm being a bit like how there's a couple of elements that I want it to have like it must have a pool I'd really really love it to have like saunas and a dunk pool and a hydrotherapy area um basically everything my last gym had to offer because I just loved it so much and then something that I didn't do before but I'd really like to start doing is classes like spinning or boot camp and that kind of thing so hopefully soon I'll get that in place but until then I want to start doing my little home workouts, my hoopy hoops and stuff, and walking more. Um, so this this week I'm gonna really work on that. I'm gonna hope to do an Ocado order over today or tomorrow to hopefully be delivered Monday. So that, that can I can plan my meals and have that in and ready to go because I have a really busy week work-wise and I just wanna be as best prepared as possible and not let myself down. So that is the plan. I'm going to really try next week to stick in my carbohydrate goal. Um, I don't really want to delve too deep into this because it's a very like, once I get going, I won't stop and we know I tend to ramble. But basically, um, I've been researching about the lipedema condition that I believe that I have. I've got my appointment booked in July. I made a little video about it or mentioned it in a video. I'm not going to blab on, but basically it's a condition um that makes it it's really hard to describe and i i'm gonna make a video on it at some point um if i get diagnosed but long 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 story short uh people with lipedema are more a sort of more ketogenic style diet is more beneficial for them and there's a whole bunch of reasons why, but I ain't going into it. But I'm not, I'm not like going to suddenly switch to a keto diet or anything like that. I'm still calorie, I'm still calorie counting. I'm still counting my macros, 
but I basically want to just make sure that I'm not going over that carbohydrate goal. Um, I think that's going to become the important one to try and stick to. I want to get my protein in, I want to make sure that I'm not going over my carbs and I want to stick to my calorie goal as close as possible. But you know this week is just testament to the fact that I've eaten sort of up to I had 1,600 calories dinner one day and most days like 1,400 and something. So, and I still lost two pounds. So I don't know, it's, it, it's very confusing and fascinating and interesting. But I just feel like personally for my body, I need to really work on making sure that I don't go over them carbs goal. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so that's it for this week's weighing video two pounds down I'm really happy with that I really hope that you're having a great week and I really hope that you've had a really good uh, result on your way in if not please don't let it get you down just look ahead to the new week and do whatever you have to do to get back on it don't worry about what anybody else is doing this is your journey do it for you no one else and if you're having a hard time, just dig deep, find that, find that fire that made you start. Remember all the reasons why you did this in the first place and think of how far you've come. And don't let this week get you down, this is just one week. So I'm super chuffed with my week. I really hope you are too. And let's see, let's see. I really want to try my very, very best and see how I can do when I'm trying my best because I haven't tried my best in a while. So I'm excited to see when my best will take me. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for checking in on my way in. Let me know how, are you doing, how you're doing in the comments. I really like to keep in touch and up to date with how you guys are getting on. So please let me know. And have a fantastic weekend. And until next time, stay happy, healthy and well. Bye.